Hi, thanks for joining me for this short demonstration of DirectLine, a powerful, fully supported suite of maintenance management software delivered over the internet. DirectLine is brought to you by Megamation, a company that has been building and managing computerized maintenance management software for over 30 years. We are well known for our customized applications and our hosted solution that comes fully backed with 24-7 support, training, and free upgrades. It's not surprising that in our last three annual surveys, more than 96% of our clients said that DirectLine meets or exceeds their software needs. So let's take a look at DirectLine. One of the first things you'll notice is how you can access all DirectLine modules in the main window. I'm logged in as an administrator, so I have access to everything. But what's great about DirectLine is that you can set up different user groups and access rights. This gives you greater security by allowing you to control the level of access for each individual and team in your organization. We're now going into a module that I consider the building block of any maintenance management system. Here it is, Equipment Entry. This is where we input equipment, tie-in inventory, and so on. What we'll define in here is what it is, where it is, who built it, where we buy it from. The level of detail you put in here is up to you. You can do an index search for equipment by clicking the little magnifying glass here. With this search, you can pull up a list of all the pumps in the system. For example, you can sort and search through this list, select an individual pump, and see the details against it. In this particular entry, you can see the details such as the equipment description, classification, name, model, serial number, department, account number, and status of the equipment. You can also build a hierarchy of that equipment, so when you go back to that search function and click on the hierarchy, it pulls up a visual display of the equipment. From here, you can drill down to that specific pump. Within the entry, you can click on this View Documents button up in the top toolbar and see related documentation. This documentation includes Word documents, Excel spreadsheets, PDFs, and other external information you want to link back to specific records in the database. You can also include pictures and drawings. The equipment data can be loaded from pre-existing spreadsheets and databases to populate the database. Next up is the Work Order module. As you can see, there are a number of different work order screens under the maintenance heading. Your users will generally interact with one or two of these windows depending on their access level. For example, someone outside of the maintenance will usually use the work request entry function to submit requests. A maintenance planner or manager will typically use the work planning window to open and manage work orders and issue them to different employees and work groups, assign materials or checklists, and attach documentation to a work order. For this demo, let's define a query by any repair work orders that are in progress to generate a list of those work orders. You can take one of these work orders, confirm that it's issued to the right person and assigned to the correct group, and even assign a priority for the job. You can also customize any of these dropdowns throughout the application. And in subsequent windows, you can define things like the associated trades and parts, notes, documentation, and electronic documentation. So now that this work order has been planned, it can be closed out by an individual employee who can log into the system and search for work assigned to them. This employee here can see the jobs they're working on, and it's here that you can define things like closing comments, the completed by field, the completed date, major and minor codes, failure coding associated with this job, why this work was performed, downtime, and so on. Here's the actual time and material that's spent on the job. Let's close out the work order and add the details of the work that was done. Here's something else you'll find really convenient with DirectLine. You can access the work order module on a mobile interface, which works on pretty much any standard existing platform, including Apple, Android, Windows, BlackBerry, across many types of devices. Through this mobile interface, you can do many common tasks, including creating and searching for work orders. You can look at open work orders, view tasks assigned to you, and add information. From here, you can complete your customizable digital checklists. You can also reassign work orders, create follow-up work orders, send text messages or emails, upload images, and collect information from the floor to be included in the database. 
Within the maintenance module, you will find a great tool called the Work Order Console, which brings together information from most of the related modules into one location. In the bottom left-hand corner, you have the ability to select different criteria. So right now, this is separated by employee. You can also enable the planning mode. The work order console has replaced the work order planning for quite a few clients because it allows you to write work orders, modify multiple work orders easily, and see them all in one place. In this list, you can see the work orders that haven't been issued to anyone and use the drop-down menu to define that field. Let's assign this work order to someone called Raymond Albert. You can then change the status, plan date and due date, then select multiple list items and enable the planning dashboard. This planning dashboard is a tool that provides critical information such as how much available time an employee has versus how much time is scheduled. In some ways, this is an active report. See this group of buttons down in the bottom right hand corner? You can see in a work order, for example this chiller, there are associated work orders. That tab up in the top toolbar is called the equipment history, which shows the associated work orders with this piece of equipment. You can add labor materials, purchase requisitions, purchase orders, and PMs associated with that piece of equipment. And then there is some summary reporting to provide additional information right within the same window. This way, you don't have to jump from module to module to find information. Dashboard reporting is very similar to that last tab. It's another reporting tool that can be customized to your needs. The Work Order Console is a tool used to pull information into one place to manage, change, or identify the work that's being done. Setting up preventative maintenance is easy with the PM Procedure Entry. The PM Procedure Entry lets you define work you're going to schedule throughout the year, whether it's weekly, monthly, annually, or at whatever interval is needed. From here, you just pull up a list of PMs by selecting Show All PM Procedures in a pop-up. Now you're in this monthly pump check where you can define a description, a PM number, and a reference number for this PM entry. You can define the priorities and assign it to a trade, crew, a shift, issue it to an employee, define contractors that are associated with it, or associate it with a building or site within a location. You can see how frequently this PM is done, when it was last done, and then interval readings such as hours in production or mileage on a vehicle. You can also add documentation and define the materials that are going to be used for the work order, define the tooling, drawing references, and really any of that information that you want associated with this PM and its corresponding work orders. So you might define 200 or 2000 PMs that are associated with a location and then generate those into the work order system using the scheduler. Just go into the scheduler and set the dates, and now you can see the PMs that are due. This gives a pop-up of all the PMs that are due during that time period. Just select them all, or pick a particular one. You can even export this into an Excel spreadsheet and take it to a production meeting, or send to colleagues. So let's choose some PMs to create and click OK to generate work orders. And there you have it a PM module that lets you manage preventative maintenance tasks within the database. Take a look at the Inventory module and the Inventory Detail entry. This is the Inventory Detail window. Let's run an index search for all the bearings here and pick one from the list. You have your part number and description, which can be as long as you need as with other fields in the system. You can define a manufacturer and a manufacturer's part number in here, and there's a supplier part number. You can define multiple warehouses, so those can be run individually for things like an automatic part reorder. Remember that DirectLine is a hosted software as a service solution, which makes it easy to share information across multiple locations. You can input and get all sorts of information here, including location, associated supplier information, and more. You can also see what equipment this bearing is used on, plus, substitute parts and do physical counts. So once that's all set up, you can generate an automatic reorder and get a list of the parts you need to reorder within the system. You can drill into one to see order history plus update information like add a different supplier. Let's choose all the parts or just a smaller selection and generate these three requisitions created into the requisition system. So those can now be managed in the purchasing requisitions. 
The analysis module allows you to create ad hoc and customized reports. There are a number of reporting options and a number of ways these reports can be created. First, let's take a look at these standard reports templates. If you look into one module, such as the maintenance module, you can generate easy reports such as work order lists. As an example, you can create a list of the overdue PMs or the work done by a particular employee or on this piece of equipment. You can generate one for overdue work orders and you still have your selection criteria which allows you to funnel the query. Another convenient function is the ability to sort through this report and export it to Excel. In this report, the columns and data are predefined. So now, you can email this, print it, or save it. This is really just the starting point with reporting in DirectLine. You can also use our Export Definition Wizard to create ad hoc reports. To create a new report, select what table you want to export. For this example, let's choose the Work Order Master table. Let's pick the fields you want in your report. You have the freedom to build templates and export this data to Excel, plus use the data to create visuals like graphs and charts. Our client services team can also help identify reports you might need and help you build them. They can even train you to build these reports as part of the unlimited training we offer at Megamation. The bottom line when it comes to direct line reports is you get complete flexibility with standard and ad hoc reports. These are just a few of the main modules within the direct line system. Thanks for watching and get in touch with our team if you have any questions.